The question number 31 is a shell fired at an angle of 15 degree to the horizontal hits the ground 3 km away. At what angle it should be projected so that it can hit a target 8 km away? And these are the four options. And dear student, what was the formula for range? That is equal to u square sine of 2 theta divided by g. Now with angle of 15 degree, range is 3 km. Now to get the range of 8 km, with the same u, we have to check, can it move to 8 km away distance? So the maximum range for this projectile, you know, is equal to u square by g when sine of 2 theta is 1, that is theta is equal to 45 degree. And from the first relation, we can find maximum range divided by the range is equal to 1 by sine of 2 theta. I divided this equation, 1 upon sine of 2 into theta, theta is 15. So this comes to be 2. So maximum range of the projectile is equal to r which is given equal to 3 multiplied by 2. So that is equal to 6 kilometer. So maximum range for the projectile can be 6 kilometer with this given speed. So 8 kilometer cannot be achieved. So answer to this question is the fourth option. Now question number 32, a pipe lying horizontally on ground pumps water towards a wall 8 meter away from the end of the pipe with a velocity of 20 meter per second. If the water stream makes an angle of 37 degree with the horizontal, then the height at which the water will hit the wall will be g is taken 10 meter per second square and these are four options. Now look at the diagram. What we do from here? This projectile is launched at an angle of 37 degree with the speed of 20 meter per second. And from here, 8 meter away, there is a vertical wall. This projectile will go like this. And this will covering the vertical distance y. On the wall, it will hit here. Now, dear student, you know that equation of trajectory y is equal to x tan theta minus half gx square over u square cos square theta. Theta was angle of projection and y is this one. We want to find out y where it will hit. So y x is equal to 8 and 10 of 37 minus 1 by 2 8 square divided by u which is given 20 square and cos square 37. Now, dear student, yet remember that tan 37 is equal to 3 by 4 and cos of 37 is equal to 4 by 5. So, fill up values, you get the answer of 4.75 meter. So, answer is the first option. Question number 33 is a golf ball is projected with velocity of 40 root 2 meter per second at an angle of 45 degree. The speed of the ball after 2 seconds will be given g equal to 10 meter per second square. Now, dear student, it is projected with the speed of 40 root 2 meter per second at an angle of 45 degree. Now, its horizontal component is 40 root 2 and cos 45. This is equal to 40, whereas the vertical component is 40 root 2 sin 45 is again 40. The time was 0. As it moves into the air, after 2 seconds, there is no change in the horizontal velocity, but the vertical component of velocity will be affected. And formula for vertical velocity is equal to ui minus gt. ui is 40, g is 10 and t is 2. So, vertical velocity will be equal to how much? 20 meter per second. Now, the speed, that means the resultant of the horizontal and the vertical the horizontal is 40, whereas the vertical was 20. So this becomes 1600 plus 400. So 2000 root, 2100 into 20, or which further can be written as 20 root of 5. 
सो ये करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर सीज अ रिवर फ्लोज ड्यू ईस्ट एट सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड अ बोट सेल्स विद वेलासिटी ऑफ एट मीटर पर सेकेंड ड्यू साउथ रिलेटिव टू द रिवर अ कार गोज ऑन द रोड अलॉन्ग द बैंक ड्यू वेस्ट एट इलेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड द वेलासिटी ऑफ कार रिलेटिव टू द बोट That is student. Let's. This is your east. This is your west. This is your north, and this is your south. A river is flowing east. The velocity of the river is equal to six i cap. This I have taken i, and this has j. A boat sails with velocity eight meter per second due south. So velocity of the boat is equal to Eight minus j, and the third case: a car goes on the road along the bank due west, and velocity of the car is equal to eleven in the direction of minus i cap. The velocity of car relative to the boat. Velocity of the car relative to the boat. Now, dear student, as it is in water, so velocity of the boat. In water will become equal to the river velocity plus the own velocity of the boat. So this is equal to six i minus eight j. Now to find the velocity of car relative to the boat, so velocity of car relative to the boat is velocity of car minus velocity of the boat. The velocity of the car was minus eleven, and velocity of boat is equal to six i. Minus 8c. So this become minus 17i plus 8c velocity car relative to the boat. So magnitude of this would be equal to 17 square plus 8 square root. So it is 289 plus is 64, and that become 353 root. Meter per second. Look at the option. The third option is 353 meter root meter per second. So answer to this question is three. The question number 35 is the position vector of a particle moving in x y plane is given by r equal to 3t i cap plus 3t square minus 6t j cap, where the distance r in meter and the time t is in second. If the particle starts motion at t is equal to zero, then the particle crosses x-axis at the time t equal to. These are the four options. The given that r is equal to 3t i cap plus 3t square minus 6t j cap. This is y displacement and this x displacement. Now, dear student. The particle starts its motion at t zero, then crosses x-axis. Particle will cross x-axis when the y become zero. Now, y displacement means 3t square minus 6t is equal to zero. So 3t, if I take taken t out, minus 6 is equal to zero. Now either t is equal to zero, or 3t minus 6 is equal to zero, or 3t is equal to 6, or t is equal to 2. So you have two instant. One is zero and two. I look at option four. Both two and three is true. So answer is four to this question. 